Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. My name is Stacy. You are here for day number 30 of my Christmas in July series. We've just about polished off the entire month. So I thought I'd do a quick and easy craft for you today that is really cute and I sell out of them every time I put them in my craft sales. I sell them in a dollar bin so you can just they can grab one for a dollar and head on out. These are the plastic candy canes you get from the Dollar Tree. And there used to be 10 in a pack, but now I think they're down to 8. And <clears throat> still only less than 15 cents of candy cane, so that makes it pretty reasonable to craft with. And what I like to do is take homespun fabrics and wrap them and then cluster them up with a bell or a, a bow of some sort and sell them as a decoration. I also make a bucket full of them and just put them in a dollar bin and people seem to just love them. They're very farmhouse. You can hang them on just about anything. Now I have done these candy canes with lots of different kinds of fabrics and I have some favorites. My favorite is the homespun cotton that you can get. It's usually around $3 a yard, but it's woven. So the pattern goes all the way through. It's not printed on. And so it just, it stretches differently and it just, this is my favorite. It, it will ravel a little bit and I like those strings and I can clip them to be whatever I want them to be. My second choice is woven flannel. This is a little stretchier, so it's a little harder to wrap and uh, it just, it absorbs the glue a little bit differently, but this is my second favorite. I don't like regular like broadcloth cotton. That just ravels too much. I, I made some of those. This is also a woven flannel or is this a printed flannel? Nope, this is an, another woven flannel, but this one is really sturdy. It doesn't stretch as much as some of the others. Okay, so homespun woven cotton, 100%. I don't wash it first. I just cut it into strips. I lay it out, fold it a few times, and I cut one inch strips. And if they're not exactly straight, that's okay. Sometimes I rip the, the strips so that they'll be really frayed on the ends. All right, but I had these left over from another project where I didn't want all the ravels so much. So these are a little bit neater. So I've already done two. I've done one in this fabric. So that's what that one ends up looking like. Okay, and I've done this one in this woven flannel. And now I have this woven flannel I'm going to do. I like to use something with a stripe or a plaid on it because I think that just adds to the farmhouse look of it. And it also helps give you those stripes that you get in a candy cane. I don't know if you can see that. See how that's kind of striped as I wrap it? All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do after you cut your one inch strips, and I just cut them the width of the fabric, and then I wrap my candy cane, cut it off, and I can usually get two candy canes, sometimes three, depending on how wide the fabric is. Okay, it's also fun to do, they at Dollar Tree, they also sell a little garland where the candy canes are about that big, you know, like the little tiny candy canes you get to give to people. And I just pull those off of the garland and I wrap them and they're really cute as well. So first thing I'm going to do is puddle up some glue on the tip of my candy cane. And I'm going to just kind of smear some glue around the edge. Now I start up here at the crook end, at the hook end, because that's just easier for me. I get a nicer wrap on it. If you want to start at the bottom and finish up with the crook, that's up to you. This is just how I prefer to do it. So I hold my strip and I stick my candy cane in and I fold it up and I just kind of bring in the ends. Okay, and I try to tuck it all in and wherever fabric goes over fabric, I try to put a little dot of glue just because this is the beginning and you want this to be sealed down nice and tight. Okay, really smush that into the glue. But you don't want your fabric to be straight. You want it to be at a little bit of an, of an angle to your candy cane because it'll make wrapping a whole lot easier. So I'm just going to start beginning to wrap. And going around the crook, you're going to get some little bunches and, of the fabric, and that's okay. It's, it's just how it's going to have to work to get around that bend. So I do about one inch glue, one inch of glue all the way around. And then I just, I hold the candy cane 
where I started and while I'm holding it, I'm just kind of squeezing it into the glue so that it stays firmly wrapped. And I just pull and stretch and wrap. And then just keep going. Make sure you pull it tight and stretch it. Still holding on to that end. And once you get around the crook, then you're home free. All right, I got it around the crook and it's tight and nicely woven and it's all stuck with the glue. Now I just take my glue and I rub it all around on the entire remainder of the candy cane and don't forget the tip on the end. Okay, so there's little glue globs all the way along. I'm sorry, that's out of focus. Okay, just, it doesn't need to be saturated, but it just needs to have glue all the way around to hold on to the fabric. Now I'm just stretching tight and wrapping. See how I'm wrapping it at an angle? That's gonna help give me those, those candy cane stripe effect. And I'm overlapping and it just happens to be overlapping where it's lining up on the line. Just depends on what angle you hold your fabric at. Just wrap it all the way around. Once you get to the end, see the end is right there. I cut off about an inch past the candy cane and I put glue on that entire piece of fabric and I make sure to run a bead right up here against the candy cane because I want this to stick. This is going to be the, the ending fold. So I'm going to come over to the back side of the candy cane and push that end over. And then I'm going to wrap it just a little bit more. And I'm going to keep tucking that wet glue in. And now I've got kind of a square in my fabric here, kind of a fold. So I'm going to fold this up. I'm not taking this piece past here. I'm just folding it to it, squeezing it together, and then I put more glue on here. Okay, this is the final attachment of your candy cane, so you want plenty of glue on it. I don't know if you can see that. Just roll it around, and with the fold, that little end ends up being straight across the edge. Squeeze it down into the glue, and boom, your candy cane is done. Okay, once you get the hang of wrapping these, you can wrap several in just a few minutes time. So I have a big bucket and I just hang these over the edge of the bucket and those are a dollar a piece. Or sometimes I take three of them that coordinate. These are all plaid so I can, well that one's check, but whatever. <laughs> And I just take some jute and I tie them together. I wrap it around a few times. And I tie a knot. Okay. And then I sometimes arrange them so that they're you know, one sticks up. And then, you know how I like my jute bows, six times around. One, two, three, whoops, fell off my finger. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start and stop in the same place. Bring that to the middle. I already have a string tied on to here, so that's where you're going to tie your bow loops. You could hot glue it on if you wanted, make the bow separate. Okay, make sure it's where you want it. Double knot it. And I like to tie on a bell. Now I have these little old fashioned ones, but these are rusty bells that I rusted myself. I took them and 
and uh, stuck them out in a big tub outside, filled that tub with vinegar and salt and water, and just left it there all winter long. Oh, it was so gross. <laughs> So I tie the bell on, and I usually tie on two, and I usually tie on two different ones, just because farmhouse is kind of about using what you have. This bell. This one, please. Yeah. All right. I like the bigger bell to be up kind of close to the ribbon. All right, nothing says Christmas like candy canes and jingle bells. There you have it, my homespun farmhouse style candy canes. You can do these individually or you can do them as a cluster. It's up to you. Put this up here a little bit better where you can see it a little bit better. Let me know what you think about this project in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. That really helps my channel out and it helps me to know what kind of content you guys like to see. I hope this inspires you to go out and try to make some of these for yourself. This has been day number 30 of my Christmas in July series over here at Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.